Hello everyone, today is March 14th, 2011 and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. And I wanted to say that today's intro was by Within Temptation and the song was called Mother Earth. And it is for a specific reason. Why? Because Mother Earth has again shown her power, destructive power and this time it happened in Japan. And I just wanted to say that I uh, felt very sad and devastated when I watched the news about the Japan's earthquake and the following tsunami. And then there is the threat of a nuclear power station exploding. And today, today I learned that uh, uh, a volcano has started erupting there. So I feel very sad for the Japanese people and uh, what really made me think about how this is affecting the people there is when I watched Friday's Philip de Franco show. Philip de Franco said that his mother had called him to ask him is he okay because the tsunami warning was given to the western part of the USA also and uh, uh, what Philip de Franco said was that that, that made him think that uh, there are people who are calling their loved ones in Japan also, but no one is answering. And uh, this really made me uh, also think about the depths of this disaster. And I know that Japan is a very well developed country, it is the third country by economy in the world. And uh, I know that Japan will, uh, Japan as a country will get through this. But as for the people, I I think it just takes time to get over it. I know that I have uh, viewers from around the world. So wherever you are watching my videos, I hope you are you and your loved ones are safe and that you will stay safe. But on with this week's news. Firstly, uh, about Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy have teamed up with industry leading audio technology manufacturer Altec Lansing to unveil the cover art for their forthcoming album Chaos Legion. And the artwork, which comes courtesy of renowned artist Brent Elliott White, uh, can be viewed if, the, if you click the link down below. And Chaos Legion is Arch Enemy's ninth studio album and it will hit the stores late spring, early summer via Century Media Records. And this is their... Uh, th this album marks their return to new original material because the last two releases they had, one of which was Tyrants of the Rising Sun live in Japan, CD, DVD, uh, material that was filmed in 2008 and the other one was re-recording album uh, The Root of All Evil that came out in 2009. And also behind the scenes footage from the recording sessions for Chaos Legions can be viewed if, the, if you click the links anywhere around here I have put. And the CD Chaos Legions was tracked at the Sweet Spot studio in south of Sweden with engineer Richard Pengtson and, as I said, is scheduled for release late spring, early summer via Century Media Records. ACDC Live at River Plate, a definite live concert DVD documenting ACDC's massive Black Ice uh, World Tour will be available for purchase since May 10th. And it was shot in December 2009. Live at River Plate marks ACDC's triumphant return to Buenos Aires where nearly 200,000 fans, over three sold out shows, welcomed the band back after a 13 year absence from Argentina. And the DVD was directed by David Malay and produced by Rocky Oldman. River, uh, Live at River Plate contains 19 songs as well as behind the scenes footage of the, this massive production coming together among the excitement of anxious fans. Former Alice in Chains bassist Mike Starr died last week in the United States in his home. 
and uh, the police says that uh, they do not suspect foul play and Mike Starr was 44 years old when he died. Mobile Backstage provides the official Black Label Society application uh, for your phone and if you download this free uh, application you can follow Black Label Society around the globe on the go you can share your experiences which means videos uh, audio, text and uh, pictures instantly with the fan club and see what other persecutors are up to uh, you can see instant push notifications from Zach, J Nick, JD and Johnny as they happen you can rate and comment all the material posted by both the members of Black Label Society and the fans you can send and receive private messages uh, to anyone inside the application uh, and you can push push your material to Twitter and Facebook. Relentless, Reckless Forever, the new album from Finnish Metallers, Children of Bottom, was certified gold in their home country uh, for the first day sales of over 10,000 copies. Uh, and Relentless, Reckless Forever was recorded in Finland uh, at Petrak Studios with famed rock producer Matt Hyde and it is the seventh studio album of Children of Bottom. According to a New York magazine, HBO has cast Metallica's drummer Lars Ulrich uh, in an upcoming film titled Hemingway and Gellhorn and the main cast in Hemingway and Gellhorn will be Nicole Kidman and Clive Owen and it is the Philip Kaufman directed drama uh, which is centered on the romance between Ernst Hemingway and a World War II correspondent Martha Gellhorn who was Hemingway's inspiration for for whom the Bell Dolls and uh, she was only uh, she was also the only woman who ever wanted a divorce from Ernst Hemingway and Ulrich will play a Dutch documentarian Joris Ivans in the TV movie which will follow the couple's uh, relationship uh, from the time they met in 1936 through the time they spent together in the Spanish Civil War. And Ulrich previously has made a cameo, cameo appearance uh, playing himself in Get Him to the Greek uh, which was an American comedy film directed by Nicholas Stoller and starring Russell Brandt and Jonah Hill. The vocal recording sessions for the new Nightwish album titled Imaginarium have been postponed and the reason is very simple. Nightwish's singer Annette Olson fell very badly and broke her ribs and she needs time to recover and therefore she, the band's producer, uh, Eva Bohja, not producer, the band's manager Eva Bohjala of King Fu Entertainment and the band's main songwriter Thomas Holopainen decided that uh, they will rebook the uh, studio for Annette's vocal recordings. Iron Maiden, Slipknot, Slayer, Stone Sour, Down and Dimmu Borgir are among the nominees at this year's edition of the Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards uh, which will take place on June 13th in London, England and uh, if you click the link down below in the description box then uh, you can vote for your favorites. I already voted for mine and please vote for your favorites also. Lastly, the world's first ever film festival dedicated to heavy metal music will take place in Los Angeles, California uh, starting from March 31st throughout to April 3rd and the organizer and lifelong metalhead Samuel Dweck has released a statement that they uh, have got the submission from Blind Guardian and they will be premiering Blind Guardian's uh, uh, movie Travelers at the Edge of Time in the Heavy Metal Film Festival and this film uh, speaks to the band's evolution and how it led them into the symphonic saga of their latest album 
uh, at the edge of time and if you live in Los Angeles or near Los Angeles definitely go to this heavy metal film festival I know I would go if I'd live in Los Angeles these are all the news for this week and uh, definitely check back on Wednesday because I'll be uploading shout out to new bands and uh, just wanted to say that have a great week be safe and I will see you again with the news on Monday. So, bye!